Counterpunch TV! The installation instructions in this video have been confirmed for the following versions of Feed the Beast. Please watch the whole video before attempting an install, and check the video description to see if any steps have been changed since this production. Hello viewers, this is Counterpunch TV, and I'm here today to bring you another tutorial on how to install Mo Creatures 4.6 into the current versions of Feed the Beast. Because apparently the new release of Mo Creatures has drastically changed everything in and it doesn't work anymore. So let's get this started. Uh, I'm going to list uh, the mod packs of what's compatible with this at the beginning of this video. So I need you guys to do first is download whatever version you want to use. Download Ultimate 1.0.1. .1. And before I go any further, I want to make this clear. You guys need this. You will need to see this window. I know a lot of people don't want to see it, but it's important because it tells the error of what's going to happen if something does happen. You need to go to your options menu and put, uh, select the uh, select show council because that's what this is. I'm always glad to help, but this is more helpful than is saying it crashed. So now that that's happened, uh, okay. For the first thing you need to do, I try to stress this. It's to actually test to see if Feed the Beast will run. I've already downloaded it. It's good. Just test it once. Okay, see now I have it running. I'm try a sample world. Now let's see. Let's um, just give it a quick seed. Counter punch TV. Oh, cheats. All right, so now it's working. Just get out of all this recipes. Yeah, there's a bunch of updates every time you get a new version. Okay, so this is where it loads. It's running pretty okay. So let's just get out of it. Okay, now that it's all tested, you need to have these three programs or these three files again. You need custom mob spawner. 1.11.1. 1. 1.12 1. will not work with Feed the Beast right now. The newest version of Mo Creatures is 4.6. This is the same as version 5 for Minecraft 1.5. Dr. Zark was generous enough to make a version that's compatible for 1.4.7, which therefore we can now use. Thank him. And you also need GUI API. 0.15.2 hyphen 1.4.6 if the 1.4.6 is higher as in 1.5 it is not the correct one you need to find this one okay so what you do is you run feed the base again let's get that back up here let's get the arrow window back up okay and you're going to go to your folder which I currently have on my desktop. You need to add more creatures to the mods pack. You need to add custom mob spawner to the mods pack. And go to jar mods and add GUI API. And usually right now I hear this that people add Optifine right now. Don't add it yet because that's separate. We want to test to make sure this works before you try out try to get your game running more smooth. Personally, I don't have much luck with Optifine. It makes my computer craft stuff crash. So now that's in there. It's ready to run. Time to test it. Nope. Okay. Now, I know it's doing this. It's trying to annoy me right now. We need to make it smaller. And we need to watch this. You guys are going to see something that you don't want to see. Minecraft has crashed. Mo Creatures is actually, in its current state, incompatible with Feed the Beast. Now, don't get too worried, because I can fix this for you right here, right now. Just pay very close attention. All it is is that Mo Creatures has a new dimension, and its blocks are conflicting with, in this one, slot 200. 
is uh, Domcraft block, and it doesn't say it yet. You you could try it over and over again. And then there's like the 700 series, which is Greg Tech. So what you need to do, you actually need to run this and get this error before you continue any further. Now that's done. Go out and go to your config menu. I do it this way. I go to mods, open folder, go up one, there. Find uh, where is it? Smoke creatures properties. So underneath the section it says custom ID settings. You need to go to to the dirt block ID. It says 200. Change that to 199. And then what I do is for the other ones that are 700 area, just add 2,000 to it. So 2,700, 2,701, and so on. Leave stone. I just left the stone block ID and grass block ID alone because they're okay. Leave the biome ID and the dimension ID the same, or else you're gonna have issues. So now it's working, hopefully. We're gonna run. If it boots up, I don't know why it keeps doing this, ignore it. It's gonna boot up and we're gonna see it again. Okay, we're now back to the main menu. Let's go back in the same world. Doesn't matter, it shouldn't change train generation at all. It loaded, perfect. Game mode one. Let's see if we can find anything. What load I thought I saw a fox over here. There's a horse. There's a thomcraft tree. Oh, there's goats. What was that? There's chickens. You guys gonna make sounds? You gonna make sound? Come on. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys something. Back out. I forgot to tell you guys about this. It was in my last video, but I forgot to tell you about this one. If you have integrated sound packs in your mods, it will not make sounds. Take it out. That's all it is. I believe all that does is have music for your menu. When you go on, you have these copyrighted weird tunes playing, like Pirates of the Caribbean and Neon Cat. Wow, that was a lot of noise. You hear the bugs flying. You hear a goat. You hear a dog. You hear a horse. You hear everything. Everything's working fairly loudly. Wow. That was interesting, donkey. Donkey. So now you guys think you're done, right? You are actually not yet. Don't leave. Don't leave yet. Don't leave. Because I need to tell you guys something before you get pissed off. It's nothing bad. But you remember, if you've installed the previous version, you'll notice that angry zombies and um, fire bats have all disappeared off the face of the game. Off the face of the earth, as it may be. Well, here's something. Let's go to night. Now, guess what? There's one. That's all that's going to spawn at night. That's it. Because right now, the custom mob spawner and Thomcraft are fighting. You'll get the odd one of these, but you won't get much else. How do you fix that? Especially if you get an, an, very annoyed with fire bats in the nether. That's the biggest pain of them all. You need to go escape. Go to options. You need to go to global mod options. Now, this is not concrete. This is not a concrete fix. This is how I fix it. It seems to work and might work better for you. Raise the hostiles to 80. No, leave that on. Leave it to 80. And go back. Go to mobs. Mob frequency. Go down. 
change this down to one. Take that all the way down to the giant ones. You don't want giant ones. Take this down to one. Wisps are entirely up to you. Let me put that down to one as well. Now hopefully this will work. If it not, if it does not, I'm gonna be right back. Do not worry about um, twilight creatures. They're listed, and naturally they sh they are conflicting with custom mob spawner. But the thing is that custom mob spawner is not defined for the twilight force, and it's not defined for these guys in your the world. So these guys don't spawn in your world, and in the Twilight Forest, custom mob spawner just doesn't work. So let's try it. Let's get back out. It's a lot of clicks. Now another thing to know is that you see in the top right there, there's the mini map, the new one. You got you. I've had a complaint that the faces are not appearing. They won't appear for mo creatures. I just heard a ghost. Now, if you're flying, it's going to take a while because it's trying to load. I see a creeper back there. Yeah, now I got a few of them over here. Yeah, there's a few things loading. Scorpion. Angry zombie. They're getting more angry zombies still than anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm poisoned, yet yeah, I'm god. You ever wonder how they get them to animate their tails? Go back to that menu. And I believe it's not that one. Animate textures. I wonder why that was off. That still worked. Only after I turned that on did it work. And it's still stabby stabby. Yeah, so I know I got several other mods. I got an ogre, whatever, mobs. Here. Yeah, I know. Go away. Yeah, yeah, just stay away. Pig died. So that's about it. And I'm going to show you guys something that I don't think was expected. Go away! I'm going to stay up here. Just stay. Okay, we're going to go to. Let me make sure, yeah, cheat mode's on. Let me get a book. Get a... Get a linking book. And then we're going to get... I can't say it. See, these are the new things. There's a new page for Miscraft. You get the scepter. I'm going to show you the recipe quick. The recipe is this. I have no experience with this. Unicorn horn. Who wants to kill a unicorn? Anyway, what you traditionally are supposed to do is use the staff on the ground and you get teleported to this new realm. Okay, so here we are in the. Uh, what is it? The Wevrin's Lair? Let me show you guys. Let them spawn a bit. They're considered a neutral mod, so if you're using the mini map, they're not going to show up. Unless you put neutrals on. So here we are. We found a few. Actually, I spawned them because I don't know why they're not spawning over there yet. But here they are. These new things. The neat thing about here, so you can use your wand. Just click up there. It'll take you back. Or if you're into miscraft, you can actually use a linking book. Just like that. It'll take you back to where you were. Roughly. Anyway, how to get the servers working? You need your custom mob spawner configurations. You need this one and this one. Just copy them to your desktop for now. So they're still here and they're still here. Good. Go out. Out. Now download the ultimate server pack, which will be just by clicking the first one here. I don't know why it does this sometimes. It's not there. Download the server pack for ultimate or whichever version you're going for. Unzip it into here. Now for mods, you need to get your files here. You need to take custom mod spawner and mo creatures and simply just add in. 
That's it. Ignore GUI API, as so many of you have told me, because most of you don't get to work. Now, you don't see the files in here because it's on there. You have the option of letting the server load and crash, but I think that might be a waste of your time and a lot more experimentation to get it working. So take these two files that you just copy from your SSP play, add them in. There, and I don't know, won't have to generate them. You're good. Back out. Let's launch and just let it go. Okay, now that it's running, see it's going, hasn't crashed. It's all good. So I'm going to launch my FTV. Right here I am, back to the main menu. Multiplayer, one thing you can do since it's already on my computer. Just one moment, what's all this? Not a clue. Didn't seem to be affecting me. Go to add server, and if you want to go play on your own computer, it's 127.0.0.1. Just connect to it. One bar, I don't know why. It always does that for me. Okay, now I'm in. Inside this world. And I got a lot of zombies on my screen, like a lot. You, if you want to turn off the angry zombies, go to Thomcraft and um, disable I am in quicksand. Well, it's been nice, guys. Bye bye. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video was very helpful for you. And if it did help you, please leave a like. And if it didn't help you, please message me because I like to know all cases of what could be going wrong with this with the uh, installation of this pop mod um, more creatures into Feed the Beast. And if you're interested in this series, I do a Let's Play series called Feed Mo Beast, which is basically what you just watched. And just a little reminder that all my subscribers get added to my subscriber board in my Let's Play video. And I'd be glad to see some new names there. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy your game.